Now let us follow the chakra infusion while Thoth comments on each one. Through my crown chakra streams the light and perfection of my divine blueprint, reactivating and realigning all the circuits in my energy bodies. From the crown, the divine blueprint flows into the system. This blueprint, you might say, is the map that tells your whole system what to aim for, what to move toward, where it came from, and where it is going. The blueprint comes from source through the center of the universe and beyond, but this universe encodes it for you. It says X marks the spot, and that spot is your energy system's center of reference. Understand that you are not given a piece of a pie, but the whole pie, the whole feast. How much you may be able or willing to digest in the moment is another matter. So the divine blueprint realigns the circuitry of your entire energy body, but it does not do this instantly. It is a hologram in progress with ebb and full flow. Through my third eye, I open to receive the light language of the angelic spheres, that I may commune more deeply with the holy merkabas of my celestial family. The language of the angelic spheres is the light language that is constantly communicating with you all the time, never ceasing, not even at death. When you depart the flesh, you will hear it. It will sing brightly, and you will know that this is what you have heard dimly and in your dreams all your life, and when you drop the frame, so it will sing you home. When you come into touch in your incarnation with the light language to a deeper degree, when you listen to it sing in your heart and through your third eye in imagery, you will be able to know more fully the loving presence of your celestial family. This family extends beyond the human race into the realms of nature beings and angels and others. Through my throat chakra, I command the word, the tone, the song of God to rise within me, to clear me of any restrictive feelings, fears, or negative impressions. And so you sing back every word you utter, every song, may it come from your authentic nature and not the lesser self. Strive for this, and do not be discouraged with failure, for there is no failure, only experience. Through my heart chakra, I send and receive unconditional love, affirming that I am one with all that is. There is no separation, and therefore there can be only acceptance in me of every aspect of the all. This is beautifully simple and needs little discourse, for it is as it is. The heart is the little lamb with the spirit of the Lion of God. It entices you out from the shade and into the bright sunlight where you would otherwise be disinclined to journey, for it is hot and takes energy to accomplish. 
is not comfortable, not at first, but the little lamb is irresistible. And so you will go to him and he will look up at you and your heart will melt with self-love for he, she is you, that part of you that needs your love. Not only needs it, but owns it for it is the value of the thing that gives it worth to you. If you value it, it becomes worthy. And as you value in your heart this precious little lamb, so it, you, becomes worthy in your sight, and the lamb becomes the lion, and that lion is bright before you. But you no longer feel uncomfortable out from the shade, for his light is your food and drink and the very air you breathe. The lion leads you then to his den. Through my solar plexus, I feel the power of my soul connecting deeply into my elemental body, loving it, assuring it, sustaining it, giving it the guidance it needs to facilitate my whole vehicle of light. The solar lion feeds the elemental body, that part of you that is dust to dust and yet it is more, for when the dust returns to dust, it frees a spark, a spark of earth, and this spark is what remains of the elemental body. It will eventually return to the earth, and the elemental sparks gather in certain places of the earth where high magnetic energy is strong, and you say, this place has good energy, or this place has bad energy. But it is really only energy, not good or bad, and it comes from the issuance of departed souls when their elemental bodies return to the earth. Some may feel bad if it carries still a bit of the dust on it from clinging to that which has passed, but they will eventually be laid to rest through love. Through my navel chakra, I experience new birth every moment as I continually awaken in the now. I am nourished by the cosmic pulse in the mother womb. I know that I am never alone. You say to yourself, well, I was born as if it is past. You were born and you shall die, and that is the beginning and the end of the book of life. No, it is not. You are eternally being born, and you are eternally dying. There is no death that is the end. Death, in this sense, is the end of a chapter, and the next one begins. Your entire life is filled with such beginnings and endings, so celebrate your birth each day, and do not linger over the deaths for they are gone in a flicker as new life crowds it out. Yes, you are nourished by the mother womb. She knows and she answers you. Listen to the mother, for she is all mothers. Without mothers, life could not exist. Even a microbe has a mother. Through my base chakra, I connect to the magnetic resonance of the earth. I feel her ebb and flow. I am sensitive to how I move through her field of life. I am conscious of synchronizing my inner clock, rhythm and presence with Gaia 
as I sleep, eat, breathe, and move. Without being sensitive to the ebb and flow of the Mother Earth, you cannot be sustained in the flesh. Your body will be sensitive, whether or not your conscious mind is aware, and there will be created a breach between what your body knows and what your conscious mind thinks. Allow the mind to still at times, often. Let it be at rest, so the body, among other parts, may speak to the mind through the heart. Through my crown chakra streams the light and perfection of my divine blueprint, reactivating and realigning all the circuits in my energy bodies. Through my third eye, I open to receive the light language of the angelic spheres that I may commune more deeply with the holy Merkabas of my celestial family. Through my throat chakra, I command the word, the tone, the song of God to rise within me, to clear me of any restrictive feelings, fears, or negative impressions. Through my heart chakra, I send and receive unconditional love, affirming that I am one with all that is. There is no separation, and therefore there can be only acceptance in me of every aspect of the all. Through my solar plexus, I feel the power of my soul connecting deeply into my elemental body, loving it, assuring it, sustaining it, giving it the guidance it needs to facilitate my whole vehicle of light. Through my navel chakra, I experience new birth every moment as I continually awaken in the now. I am nourished by the cosmic pulse in the mother womb. I know that I am never alone. Through my base chakra, I connect to the magnetic resonance of the earth. I feel her ebb and flow. I am sensitive to how I move through her field of life. 
I am conscious of synchronizing my inner clock, rhythm, and presence with Gaia as I sleep, eat, breathe, and move.